Men's and women's cross country competed this past Saturday at LSU. Uh, we were part of the SEC preview meet and uh, what that meet included, it was five teams from the SEC. It was Mississippi State, LSU, Ole Miss, Arkansas, and Texas A&M. Uh, so five team meet on the same course that will be hosting the SEC championships on October 30th. Uh, both teams finished up as runner up in the meet. So we came away with second place finish to Arkansas on both the men's and women's side. Um, you know, it was a good showing for us for an early season meet. You know, a lot of times in cross country, uh, the first few meets of the season are a little bit more low key. You're just trying to figure out your roster a little bit. Um, you know, we held out a few athletes on both sides, I believe two men and three women uh, that we believe will factor in as scores for us later in the season. Uh, but they're just kind of taking their time, uh, getting their training volume back up uh, before they'll debut uh, in a uniform uh, here in another meet or two for us. Uh, we were led on the men's side by Mario Garcia Romo. He actually won the meet overall individually. Uh, but our team, I think, on the men's side, we lost by about eight points, I think 29 to 37. So pretty close race. Uh, it was kind of cool how it unfolded. Uh, basically just the two teams of guys kind of going back and forth all the way to the finish. So. Um, a good, good starting point there for the men's side. On the women's side, um, you know, Arkansas, the defending national champion, very tough uh, competitor uh, every time we're on the course with them. Uh, they ran very strong. And to be honest, we ran pretty well too, but just uh, not enough to really uh, impact the team scoring there against the Razorbacks. But again, we held out, you know, three of our best girls that are working their way back. So I feel like once we add them into the mix here in a couple of weeks, um, we'll be a lot stronger as a group, but also, um, you know, more fit and just uh, more ready to compete as we get closer to the end of the season. Uh, our next competition would be uh, in two weeks at Louisville. They're putting together a meet of some ACC and SEC teams. So we'll look to compete against some, some good quality competition there. And then, again, just keep our eyes focused on the end of the season, uh, October 30th in Baton Rouge.